my wife. Our last customer has paid their bill and left the restaurant. It's time to batten down the hatches and close La Pirata Loca for the night. Business is going great and all thanks to my lovely wife and her perfect, delicious, scrumptious sea dog fajitas. La Pirata Loca truly is the best restaurant in all of Ivory City. All right, Willie, it's been a long day. I'll get the kitchen all ship shape and you go swab the poop deck and then let's get to bed. Uh, yes, I'll swab the poop deck, but then before bed, I'm gonna take Squishy for a walk. You're gonna take Squishy for a walk? How exactly are you gonna walk a dolphin? Uh, arg, did I say walk? I meant swim. Squishy said his fins need some stretching. Oh, Willie, you're gonna go search for that giant squid, aren't you? That silly squid took your leg years ago, and you still are obsessed with him. You just can't let it go. Lass. Someone must stop the Kraken, or he'll take more arms, more eyes, more legs. <sighs> All right, Captain Ahab, you go search for that squid. But I expect you to be back first light in the morning for opening. Squishy! Squishy, where are ye? Ah, there ye are. Let's go look for that Kraken. Uh, I mean, uh, let's go on a walk. Come on, sweet Squishy. Here we go in the high seas with the sweet Squishy. We're going to find the Kraken. All right, Squishy. The Kraken's last known position was 47 north, 329 west. What's that, Squishy? Why do I want to find the Kraken? Well, that's quite simple. He took my leg. I want revenge. Well, yes, I know, I still have my other eye and my other leg, but I'm still mad about this stump I have to wear every day. Six and a half hours later. Well, Squishy, we've been searching all night and still no Kraken. He's a crafty one. He must know that I'm looking for him to get me old leg back. Well, I think we're near the rusty anchor. Why don't we go and hang out with the rest of our mateys and... Have a drink and relax. Take a load off. Yes, I'm sure they have some delicious fish for you. Hello, Demelza. I'll have the usual. A double grog, frozen with an umbrella. Artab! Vuitzi, Atu. Aye, you want me to regale you with my tales of the Kraken, eh? Ahoy, me hearties! Listen to my tale of terror and bravery on the high seas. When I was a young lad, my mother used to scare me with tales of a giant squid who ruled the oceans and punished little pirates who did not do their chores. The Kraken. I did not really believe these tales, but I did my chores anyway, just in case the Kraken were real. Well, me hearties, the Kraken is real. I may be an old salt, and I may have only one good eye left in me head, but my eye beheld the Kraken on that fateful night. It was a calm and beautiful night. I was in me boat on the high sea, looking for someone to rob, ransack, and plunder. A typical Friday night. Yo-ho, yo-ho, a pirate's life for me. We pillage, we plunder, we rifle and loot, we kindle and char and inflame and ignite. When suddenly, my boat struck something. I looked up and me eyes beheld the most enormous blood-red monster you have ever imagined. His eyes were yellow as fever, and his hideous tentacles were as numerous as the isles of the sea. I became entrapped in his slimy embrace. I heaved to and fro, but it was in vain. The monster had taken me leg, and the rest of me was about to become shark bait. Thinking quickly, I grabbed the oar from me sunken boat to use as a leg. Then. When I was about to abandon all hope and sink into the Kraken's slithery embrace, I laid eyes on a beast that had come to save me. I exclaimed, There she blows! 
A whale! Well, it was more of a dolphin, really. Came to save me from the abyss. My sweet dolphin, Squishy. Who became my pet and first mate. Squishy and I rode away from the Kraken. Although I didn't have me leg to comfort me, I had me Squishy. All right, Squishy, let's get back home before Barbara gets too worried. We have been out all night after all. We'll find that Kraken soon. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Designer Slash Gamer, and today we're playing Lego like Worlds. You guys remember Sheila? Um, if you watched the last episode, you saw Sheila get defeated for mayor of Ivory City by this guy. And that is exactly what his political platform is. Donuts. So we're up here at Elle's house. She graciously lended her house to us since we don't have a town hall yet to discuss town business. Uh, Sheila and Classic Space Guy have a few different ideas about what buildings should be built in Ivory City. So we're trying to come up with some compromises. Hey, Classic Space Guy. <gasps> Dude, you are mayor. You have to pay attention long enough for us to get some stuff done. See, even, even Elle is up here trying to help us out. So you want to build a donut factory in Ivory City, is that right? Okay, well, come over here to the edge and show me where you were thinking of building it. Oh, right down here to the left? Uh, that's the Ivory Tower. How would we put a donut factory right there? The Ivory Tower is right there. We could just bulldoze it? Um, I don't really think we should bulldoze the Ivory Tower. Uh, how about we put the donut factory... Uh, let's see, right over here instead. Look at all this space we have down there. See, we have the t hotel right over here, the new l and headquarters. There is plenty of room down there for a donut factory. How do you feel about that? Are you okay with that? <gasps> L, you should be fine with that. I mean, look at all this space. Oh, you don't want to stare at a donut factory all day? Okay. Well, that's understandable, but you do have a lot of beautiful things to look at. You're up here in the clouds. You know, you got clouds to look at. You got this pretty castle over here, so I don't think you should care that much. What's all this? There's already tons of donuts over here? Come on, classic space guy. Get a donut, Sheila. You won't see. <laughs> Ooh, it's a kind of sprinkles. It's the best. Um, okay. Well, we're going to have to figure this out. And we do have some other priorities that we're working on. We can't really drop everything and build a donut factory. Oh, Sheila, we really should have elected you mayor. That's okay. We can work with Classic Space Guy. As long as we can just make him think he's getting what he wants, maybe he'll be easier to work with. I think it can be done. <laughs> oh, hey, One-Eyed Willie. How's it going, buddy? How's business at La Pirata Loca? That really is the best pirate uh, Mexican fusion cuisine in Ivory City. It's the only one, but... <laughs> Arg, business is great. My wife, Barbara, makes the best sea dog fajitas in the city. Yes, she definitely does. Uh, Sheila, we gotta go there one night soon. That food is so good. I love pirate Mexican fusion. What can we do for you, One-Eyed Willie? Ah, uh, well, you see, I'm here for the dolphins. You're here for the dolphins? Okay. Uh, what can we do for the dolphins? My pet Squishy wants an arena in Ivory City where he and his friends can do shows and tricks for the citizens. Uh, that is a fantastic idea. And that sounds like a much better building project than the donut factory. What do you think, Sheila? I think we can probably get Classic Space Guy to agree to this. He seems to be happy about it back there. He likes dolphins, you know. He's blue. Dolphins are kind of blue. Arg! Squishy will be so happy. I need to get home to my wife. I've been out all night, and unless I get home soon, she'll serve me on the menu. It'll be filet of One-Eyed Willy. Oh. Okay, One-Eyed Willy, you get home. We don't want Barbara to be putting you on the menu. <laughs> okay, Sheila. Now we actually have a project I can get behind. 
This sounds great. Uh, let's go to Jurassic World and let's find a good spot for this awesome dolphin arena. And then we can have a show today. We can invite all of our friends and there will even be free donuts. <laughs> okay, I think classic space guy can get into that. All right, let's see. How should we get to Jurassic World? Uh, why don't we go down and take our helicopter? Okay, so you'll jump. Love skydiving in Ivory City. <laughs> see if we can land on the stairs. Oh, we did it. We did it, Sheila. We did it. All right, Sheila, we may as well feed the animals while we're here. Let's get this fish out. Piper, Lady Meowington. Hi, lady. I'm glad to see that you were not Piper's breakfast. We're a little bit late getting home. Here you go, Lady Meowington. Here's some fishies. There you go. There you go. Okay, where's Piper? Piper? Pipey? You getting hungry, buddy? Where's he at? Piper's just like my dogs. They totally let me know right at five o'clock every day for dinner that they're hungry. They let me know it. Uh, they don't let me forget. Uh, Piper? Pipey? There he is. Hi, Piper! Hi, you want this fishy? Okay, we gotta be careful here, Sheila. We don't wanna lose an arm. You know, we don't wanna end up like One-Eyed Willy or lose a leg. Okay, let's just, uh, maybe we just like throw it at him gently. There we go. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> okay, let's just like throw it in his direction. Okay, let's just throw it right there. There you go, Piper. There's your fishy. We gotta throw it down to him, Sheila. Oh, this isn't working. Okay, there we go. He's got tons of fish. Look at him. There you go, Piper. There's your breakfast. <laughs> okay, let's go upstairs and let's hop in the helicopter and let's head over to Jurassic World and we can find an excellent spot to build the Dolphin Arena. It's going to be amazing. All right, Sheila, hop in the helicopter. Um, hi, Larry and Larry's other bat friends. <laughs> okay, let's see. Where's There's Jurassic World. All right. Okay, let's see. Where could we put this dolphin arena? Hmm. So I'm thinking we could build the dolphin arena right out here, right across from Main Street. We could build some really cool stadium stands out here. People can come out, they can watch the dolphins. Dolphins can perform their super cool dolphin shows. And then when the dolphins are all done, they can swim away back into open ocean. What do you think about that, Sheila? You like that idea? Oh, she can't hear me. The helicopter is so loud. <laughs> this is an Arctic helicopter. I wonder if it can actually land on the water. Let's find out. Oh, no, that doesn't work too well. Sorry, Sheila. <laughs> okay, guys, we are going to, oh, there goes our helicopter. We're going to find a new way home, Sheila. And I don't think Uber comes to Jurassic World, so. We may even have to walk. Oh, sorry, Sheila. <laughs> we may even have to walk home after we build the Dolphin Arena. All right, Sheila, you ready? Let's get started building. We're gonna go into speed build mode. We're gonna build the super cool Dolphin Arena, and we'll show you guys when we're all done.
Okay guys, we are all done building for now. We've made some incredible progress on the new dolphin arena. Even the vampire wants to come check it out. <laughs> and One-Eyed Willie told us that he wants to put a show on tonight right here in our beautiful dolphin arena and show us what his pet dolphin Squishy can do and Squishy's friends. Apparently they're all incredibly talented dolphins and they know tricks. They know some cool stuff. So we invited all of our friends from Ivory City. I'm sure they're going to be arriving soon. They're going to fill up the stands. And look at this. Some of the dolphins are already getting here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and watch this amazing dolphin show. Oh my gosh, One-Eyed Willie, that was such an amazing show. You guys did so good. I can't believe how talented your dolphin friends are. And this is the coolest arena ever. We're gonna definitely have many more shows in here. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Let's Play Lego Worlds. The new dolphin arena is amazing. Jurassic World is getting huge. By the time Jurassic World is done, we're going to have every single kind of animal in here. We're going to have giraffes, we're going to have monkeys, we're going to have dragons, everything. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed the episode, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more Let's Play LEGO Worlds videos, then please subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.